Hey there, this is your reading for Cancer Leo. Uh, 20, January 2023. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading. Hypnosis, whatever I do, also visit enchantedsky.com. You can book a reading there. Also, uh, land is Enchanted Sky, same thing. Also, Metaphysical Meanderings, my podcast. I'm redoing my whole website. So keep posted because there's a lot of new changes, a lot of new things added, lots of fun stuff. Um also, my predictions will be coming out January 7th. So check those out on my uh, uh, podcast, Metaphysical Meanderings. Okay, so joke of the day. So I, th I thought it was funny. Okay, so why, okay, why is Cinderella bad at soccer? Because she's always running away from the ball. There's your joke. <laughs> okay, lack of growing up. I want to know if there's some there's some immaturity going on some, with something. I want to say is I'm pulling cards. The feeling that I get is somebody isn't being true to themselves. Okay, they are not living what the life they should be living. Now you're getting a wish this month. Okay, and there's just immaturity. There's like there's a message or an emotional message. Um, you know, I got the 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 King of Cups upside down. And that means it's a, a person that's, I don't know if you should trust them, but it also could be you not using, not in a time of healing and not trusting your own self, which this is a seven year, which means it's all about intuition. It's all about uh, making, learning to trust yourself, learning to, to go with your intuition. Okay. It's seven year cycle for a lot of, of, um, Astrology things are seven-year cycles too, by the way. So just to let you know, you know, you're trying to get away. You you are. And so maybe you're even taking a trip, okay? And you're sitting, here you are. Remember I told you, you're kind of like, well, what's this 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 whole thing? You're getting a wish, but, you know, is there is it finally that you're learning to trust the intuition or finally learning to grow up and accept your responsibility that everything in your life has happened to you because of you could be now this is like this can be the the, the see the moon is there so it could be the, the full moon cycle which is the first uh, seventh or eighth I, I don't hold me to that I, I believe so of January and you're sitting you're like what do I do now what do I do what do I do now, you are expecting some help from somebody. You're expecting somehow somebody's going to give you some help. And that could be your wish. But at the same time, you are kind of trying to pull yourself out of your funk and get your butt moving. This is you taking the bull by the horns and saying, you know what, I own this. Because you know what, you're making a choice. You're choosing. Now, could this be lovers? Could this be a loved, uh, you know, a relationship? Of course it could be. But either way, it's always a choice that you must have to make. Okay? Let's see a clarifier. See, here's a Queen of Cups. Now, this could be a Queen of Cups or a person with uh, uh, um, good motherly type energy. So it could be male too. But it could be you use learning to use your intuition. That's what keeps popping up. And the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups, I've got them both. That also could mean a twin flame relationship for people that are in relationships. Are trying to get into one, okay? That's could be might represent the lovers, okay? So this also could represent a cancer. See, it could be you, and it, or you could be the king of cups. Um, it could be a cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. But you're gonna be successful. It has to do with home. You know, in the past, something was there was something to do with money. I don't know if you're short in money and you're really struggling, but you're trying to get away from all this. You might even be this might be you searching for deciding that what you need this year is a relationship and going for it. Because all I know is that you're fixing it all. So get off your laurels. Because that this means you taking the bull by the horns, going, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to fix this. I make my wishes. I make my wishes come true. I can't let let, let anybody do have any responsibility for me but me. So I'm going to do it. And that very well could be your, what your attitude is this, this month, okay? And actually, it is a good, great, great, it's a great attitude to have, right? 
Okay, so let's pull one out, let's see. Now, you deserve everything you get because you are good enough. Why are you thinking you're not? A fiery climax approaches, so remember that because there's something coming to a head. I want to say major things in March. I still say it. Now, I have a friend who's also a, a um, astrologer, and she says, too, there's major stuff. Now, Mars goes direct in March, so it could be have something to do with Mars. So that could be it, but something just seems big in March, and I keep saying it, all right? Confidence is your key to success. Luck is on your side. So there's some luck, and you know there's no such thing as luck, right? It's blessings from the other side, right? Okay. And work through any fears you have. Because that, that's the big one. You know, go ahead and make your decisions. Stick to it and accept responsibility. Okay? Blessings to you. Make it a great month. 